Hello everyone! We are going to make no bake chocolate cake today. So here's our ingredients. We need to have one pack devil's food cake that's around 520 grams. We need to have three large eggs, one half cup vegetable oil, and one cup water. So first we're going to break the eggs and pour it inside a bowl. Now we're going to add in the one cup water and the half cup vegetable oil and we're going to mix it well. Mix everything together until there are no lumps. So okay now we're going to get another bowl and then we're going to open the cake mix and pour everything inside. Now we're going to slowly add the wet mix at the center of the cake mix. We're going to start mixing at the center and then we're going to slowly work our way to the edge of the bowl. Just make sure to scrape the edges to make sure there are no lumps in the cake.
Now, once everything is all mixed up, we are going to set aside the batter and then we're going to get the spring form pan. Now for this, we need to have a little bit of vegetable oil and we need to have a cotton swab. And then we're going to wipe the oil inside the spring form pan to prevent the cake from sticking. Now we're going to fill the spring form pan with a batter around just three-fourths of the pan to give a space for the cake to rise. Now for this, we can make two cakes, 8 inches by 2 inches. Give it a little shake to remove the air bubbles inside. Then we're going to get a foil. And then again, we are going to dab it with vegetable oil. Because we're going to cover the spring form pan. It is important to cover the spring form pan with a foil because we are going to steam the cake and if not, the steam might get inside the cake. And make sure it's only lightly covered. Now we're going to put it on top of a steamer and steam for around 30 to 45 minutes. And while waiting for the cake to cook, we're going to prepare the frosting. That's chocolate buttercream frosting. And for this, we need to have one half stick melted unsalted butter. And then we're going to soften it just a little bit. And now, we're going to add the half cup condensed milk, but we're going to add it gradually. And now, we're going to cream the butter by whipping it. Now, once the butter turned pale in color, we can now add the cocoa powder and again, we're going to add it gradually. Now, 
we need to have a strong arms for this and if you have a mixer you can use that Sorry, I just need to wipe the table because I couldn't take it anymore. Now, continue whipping until your arms feel heavy. Now there you go, it's now fluffy and it's ready. After around 45 minutes of steaming the cake, we are now going to uncover it. Remove the foil carefully. Now to make sure that the cake is really cooked, we are going to insert a knife inside and then it should come out clean. If you don't have a knife, I mean sorry, if you don't have a toothpick, you can use a knife. I don't have a toothpick so I just used a knife. And then we're going to scrape the edges so that the cake would come off easily. Carefully remove the cake from the pan. And transfer the cake to another plate. Now we're going to cut the cake in half so that we can make the filling inside. And then once the cake is cut in half, we are going to fill the center with a buttercream frosting. Like that. Cover again the cake with the other top of the cake. And then we are going to cover the cake with a buttercream frosting. Entire cake. And while doing this, make sure that the cake is completely cooled down because if not, the buttercream would melt, just like mine. I put the buttercream while the cake was still hot, so it melted just a little bit. 
because I'm excited and this is my first time to make a cake. Now do some finishing touches on the cake and then pour the remaining buttercream frosting inside a plastic because we're going to decorate the cake. And then get a plastic and then cut a tiny hole at the bottom. And then decorate. Try to decorate the cake as beautifully as you can. I just didn't decorate it as beautifully as I can because it is my first time and I'm tr going to try to do it better next time. And then for more decorations, I added melt desserts on top of the cake. And then I also sprinkled some bittersweet chocolate chip cookies or chocolates on top of the cake. And now we are going to taste the cake. Oops! Before that, you need to put the cake inside the fridge first, if you want only, but for me, I'm excited so I ate it right away. So carefully slice the cake. And then transfer the slice to another plate. Alright, so here you go. We are now going to taste the cake. What's the good thing about this cake is it's very delicious, very affordable, and very easy to make. Anyone can just make this even without an oven. All we need to do is just a steamer. And then, there you have it. Now dig in, take a spoonful or a sporkful, and then put it inside your mouth. It's very delicious, I tell you, and you should make this. Not bad for a beginner, but next time I'm going to try my best to decorate the cake more beautifully. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'm going to make another videos later. And thank you. See you next time. Bye.